I have a hard truth for you. You've been cleaning your carbon steel pan the wrong way. I know, I know it's hard to hear. You stayed away from soaps, detergents, tough scrubbers, but the salt, we gotta talk about the salt. It's unnecessary most of the time. Today, I'm gonna show you how to clean your pan the right way. We're gonna look at three different types of messes and I'm gonna show you the best way to clean up each mess so that you aren't scraping off any of that beautiful non-stick seasoning on your pan. Let's get into it. First things first, you need to get yourself some good equipment. That includes a brush, a dedicated brush for your pan. You will not use it often, but you want to have a nice clean brush laying around for when you need to scrape those real hard to get bits of food off your pan. You don't want to be using the, the dish soap brush that's been sitting in water all day and has food caked onto it. Just get a dedicated brush. It's worth the, the three bucks or whatever. The other thing you'll want to get is some nice con kitchen towels. Now these are going to save you loads of money in paper towels because these can be reused, washed, they're much more durable too, and they'll probably last you as long as the pan does, which is a lifetime. So definitely pick up some of these. Once you have these two pieces of equipment, you're ready to clean your pan the right way. Let's take a look at how it works. To clean up easy messes like fried eggs in the morning, simply wipe out the food and excess fat with a clean kitchen towel. If the towel does not come out completely clean and is brown or black from food in the pan, then you may have a bigger mess on your hand. No salt is required for simple messes like this, and it's okay to simply wipe out the pan if there was butter in it and not re-grease it with oil, depending on how long you plan to store the pan before your next cooking. For medium-sized messes, like a veggie burger, simply sprinkle the pan with one to two tablespoons of coarse kosher salt. Then rub the pan with a kitchen towel, grinding the salt into the pan to scrub out any food that's been burnt onto it. You can then wipe the salt into a trash and rub the pan once more to make sure that it comes out clean. You'll notice it's clean by checking the bottom of the towel and seeing that it is still mostly white. If it is not, then you will need to go on to the cleaning instructions for a hard mess. Stir fries get a lot of gunk and char all over your carbon steel pan and are a hard mess to clean up. To clean them, let the pan cool down for about five minutes and then gradually introduce the pan to hot running water to deglaze it. You can then scrub it with a clean scrub brush. After you scrub off all the char and gunk, dry it with a kitchen towel and then heat it on the stove until the pan is completely dry. If there's still gunk around the sides after scrubbing it with the brush under water, then heat the pan on medium, add a tablespoon of oil and salt each, and then scrub off the gunk as you did with a medium mess. You can then wipe the salt out into the trash, and when you finally wipe the pan with a kitchen towel, it will come out clean on the bottom. If you don't plan to use your pan for the rest of the day or for several days, you should grease it in between uses. The best way to do that is to take a kitchen towel and place it over the mouth of your bottle of oil. Turn the bottle of oil over so that it lightly coats an area of the towel and then you can rub that little bit of oil on the kitchen towel into the pan and rub it as vigorously as you can as if you're trying to dry off all the oil. That will give you the perfect amount of oil coating to store on the pan to keep it seasoned 
protected from water and prevent an excess of oil from going rancid. All right, that's it. We busted some myths about cleaning the carbon steel pan and now hopefully you can keep yours up to snuff too. Just follow those easy instructions of wiping, only wiping it when it's an easy mess. Use salt if something's caked on and for the very dirty messes, scrub it out with hot water after letting the pan cool down a bit. If you do that, then your pan's non-stick surface will stay beautiful and slick. Just remember to keep cooking with your pan. Time is our greatest friend when building up that seasoning. In fact, I think I'm gonna go cook with mine right now. It's time for lunch. Take care.